Okay. Hi everyone. Thank you so much for stopping by my video today. I'm hoping you'll be able to look past a little bit of noise. Um, I'd like to go ahead and share with you a quick demonstration. Well, I don't know if it'll be so quick, but I absolutely love the way this paper works. I recently ordered a block of the Beohong Artist Grade Rough Cold Press Watercolor Paper, Watercolor Paper Block actually. And this is the cover in case you're interested after seeing uh, what I do with this paper because uh, let me tell you, this paper just blew my mind. I'm a big fan of the Beohong line of watercolor papers, their Academy and also their Artist Grade. I had the chance to uh, order a sample pack of the Artist Grade along with the Academy Grade back and forth here. <laughs> and I just, I loved it. So I went ahead and marked off the areas where I'm going to be working with up here, wet onto wet, and I'm using the Meiliang 36 piece watercolor set. And in that set, you get a variety of ochres and siennas, or at least one yellow ochre, and then these colors right here. So yeah, my palette's a hot mess. Um, but yep, I'm gonna be using these colors right here, all of them. I'm going for a very, um, I don't know, very, very moody um, winter background. And I'm going to begin right down here. I'm using the Princeton Neptune uh, square, three quarters of an inch square wash brush. A bit more heavier on that. Oh, just lovely. I hope you can see the texture. That's just what this paper does so well, is just oh, almost looks like it's granulating. And I'm pretty sure some of those colors on that palette is, or they are granulating. So I like to save this area up here. I'm actually gonna flip this, uh, this around. And you know what? I'm going to be a bit brave here. Kinda go like that to bring some of that. And I was going to dip my brush into the water, but I left my water, <laughs> of course I did. I left my water at the sink. I'll give myself a moment to grab that. Let me just go ahead and kind of dig deep into these beautiful dark colors. I want this area to be really rich, full of color down here. You know, maybe I'll just do a soft gradient going up, wet onto wet, but I do need my um, my jar of water. I will be right back. Okay, let me go ahead and just press the autofocus lock button so my movements are not, they're not all blurry when I begin to drop in some deeper color. go ahead and begin to drop in wet onto wet what will be the background and yes I am working upside down <laughs> for a reason I actually do a lot of my work the drawing and the painting upside down I don't know if this is something a lot of you guys do if you're watching me you know in this video I'm assuming you're somewhat interested into watercolor and uh, I don't know, I've grown to love working upside down. It's a tip that I got when I used to belong to a Facebook group. I've left Facebook uh, earlier this year. And um, the group itself is called Watercolor Beginners and Beyond. And someone had mentioned that their, dra um, their drawing skills, excuse me, I'm all tongue tied here. Their drawing skills and painting skills, especially with ink and wash, line and ink and wash, drastically improved that's what I was trying to say um, with then with then uh, drawing upside down I feel like I'm babbling over my words I just get so nervous so just please bear with me here and then I also earned uh, learned boy I'm just uh, I'm just sounding all sorts of professional here and I with my <laughs> um, I also learned that tilting at your paper upside down and dropping in the darker color and letting all that kind of just literally 
upside down will give you that illusion of trees and just, you know, the background. And I can already see that happening. I absolutely love that. I'm actually going to bring in my water bottle and purposely missed that right there. Just, oh gosh, that's just so lovely. Obviously, <laughs> you know, um, subject to interpretation, right, of what you think looks good, but I'm really loving this. And this is all going to fall back because I'm going to be bringing in um, Bob Ross style, if you will, <laughs> respectively speaking, um, one large tree right down here. Okay, so I'm thinking that's looking really good. I don't know how I managed to save a good amount of white space up there, but I'm I'm liking it. I'm gonna just dab off a bit of the color from this brush. Do I want all that area to be completely stark white? It looks really, really bright against everything else. I've cleaned off my brush. I'm just gonna gently do a little wisp there. I think that's looking pretty good. I'm going to bring this down just like that. You know, I'm really liking how that looks. I'm actually going to come in with my spray bottle. My background is a hot mess. Excuse that. <laughs> I actually purchased um, it's a big drop of water. I actually purchased this background to make everything look all pretty and uh, that went out the window real quickly, <laughs> keeping it clean. I do have a backup though, so I might just use that as a backup for a sketchbook tour. Um, I actually reordered the Bao Hong Academy sketchbook after watching Miranda Watson share her uh, recent video uh, that she got it off her wish list. So thank you, Miranda, if you ever do watch this video. <laughs> you definitely inspired me to reinvest into that sketchbook. It's absolutely wonderful. All right, so I'm really happy with how this is turning out. I normally don't like to use my heating tool on something like this. I usually just walk away and let it dry and work on something else, but because I would like to catch the light of day and show you guys a real true to life thumbnail picture with this in the background because today is uh, Friday, December 30th. It is 3.35 p.m. So I have about an hour before it is pitch black out there. So I am gonna use my heating tool. It's awfully loud. I will be right back. All right, so I stopped midway through uh, the drying process and I'm going to gently do that again. I'm a big fan of the textured background. You don't need to do this if you're following me. Um, you know, perhaps you'd like to try this. Uh, I just love the texture that it brings and I just, yeah. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and continue heating it up. Be right back. All right, so the drying shift is not that bad and this granulation with this texture, I took you guys off of autofocus lock so I can bring you guys on in. Look at this, this is those Meiling watercolors and let me tell you, I can see why so many of us love to use that palette. My gosh, look at that beautiful texture on this paper. I showed you the cover, right? I don't, I don't remember if I did, but if, if I did, please excuse <laughs> the emptiness up here in the head. <laughs> but this is what the cover looks like in case you're interested. I'm gonna link the Etsy shop that I purchased from. She's also, or they are also on Amazon, but I would much rather purchase from uh, Etsy, to be honest. I mean, it gets here super quick anyways, but I actually, it gets quicker, here quicker from Etsy because I don't have Amazon Prime, so yeah. Look at just, that's just beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and do some wet on to dry because it's just going to be amazing. So I'm gonna just bring in a bit of the coal black with the brown that's next to it. So basically the last two colors in the palette. And I'm gonna just pointy tip right here. I don't want these to be really big 
mountains. This is just indications, you know, slight indications, right? Um, maybe there's a little hill right there. My hand is a bit shaky. So, how fun. Gosh, I never do this. Um, I do a lot of this stuff um, 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 um. <laughs> in the background, like I on my own. I, I never share, and it's going to be changing in 2023 because uh, I've just been so inspired by sketches and scrubs and Sarah Burns Studio and a bunch of new, a bunch of other art accounts that I've been watching that are new to me and. They just, they share their happiness and their joy. And I, I'd like to, I'd like to have some of that too, experience some of that too. All right, so I have a very simple little background there. I'm gonna heat set it one more time because then I can go ahead and peel back and begin to work on the big old tree. I'll be right back. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over nasty looking background but hey piece of watercolor wonders on the opposite side so it is all good look at that <gasps> wonderful I don't mind some of the bit of the runoff there oh how wonderful it's like untouched snow <laughs> but nope I'm going to go ahead and touch it <laughs> so I'm going to begin with I'm gonna grab my, my brush again here, the flat wash brush, and now we're gonna do a bit of um, wet on to dry. And this is just basically, see these areas down here? Let me make sure I have you guys on autofocus lock. There you go, see these little areas right here? Just gonna tug at them gently tug at them and use them to bring some of this down and then some of that color that builds up right here that's exactly what I'll do okay and you know uh, while I do that it's a good idea to have an extra brush I'm a big fan of having a secondary brush those little areas here trying to leave a little bit of white space in between them like I did right here I don't I'm hoping you guys can see that okay and then maybe um, sideways here because maybe there will be a little fence, too. And you don't need a secondary brush. I just like to have it to quickly blend things out. I'm so used to doing it by now. something here very nice okay all right wasn't expecting that but that just happened and I'm actually not I, I like it <laughs> Ooh all right so let's go ahead and load up so these are the three colors I'm using in case again you're following along the cold black and then these two browns so these three colors here but basically from the yellow ochre on to the end is what I'm using all right so where is this tree going to hang out well I'd like for it to be right here because that's just what I'm gonna do and for this I'm gonna flip you guys upside down because that's just what I'm gonna do <laughs> 
if you see me kind of moving my brush around a lot, kind of fiddling with my brush in my hand, again, just auto focus lock, just, you know, hang in there with me. I, I do that a lot just because I do. I'm gonna also add a bit of water. So I have two brushes going here. purposely twisting and turning my brush. Second brush comes in. To pull some of that color out. Push it in. Bring it out even keep on going with this brush if I wanted to. But I'm going to clean it off so I can have a fresh clean brush. Maybe there's a bit of a bump right here. I'm not going for realism here. But I would like to try to copy the tree that's in my backyard, literally looking at it as I'm doing this. Dropping in some water here on the side, hands are a little shaky. And I do forgot about all this right here, all this paint from all this right here, so let me, let me bring that in. I'm not going to be practicing any light source. Uh, I'm, st I'm still working on that. I feel like I'm stumbling over my words and I'm certainly not trying to, to do that on purpose. It's just I get so nervous. just such a big fan of, uh, you know, I, I should have brought in some salt. I keep seeing how so many of you use salt to your advantage in your, your artwork, and I don't know why I'm so scared to do it. Oh, gosh. <laughs> what is that? Uh, all right, let's see. Uh, that's a big chunky tree. Okay, I do want a little bit of color right here. Okay, and I think I might even bring this. brush real quick in because it has such a pointy tip. So over here, this is still a little damp, just a little bit. So right here, oh no, I rinsed off the wrong brush. Shoot, 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 shoot. Okay, a bit more black. All right, it's this one. From my window I can see all the little different um, little straggly branches and bits. It's 
It's actually a lot. I didn't really realize it until I'm looking at it right now. And I'm being very, very... This one? Yep, that's this one. <laughs> I'm being very um, light on how many of these little branches I add because I, I'm so nervous. I don't want to mess this up. This paper is very precious. <laughs> and that's... Um, I want to be able to just make something very special with it, so I'm putting that pressure on myself unnecessarily, but it is the truth. <laughs> okay, so... There's one hanging right there, like that. And then there is... It's going all the way up like that. Just like that. And then, oh, it's, it splits into two. <laughs> Alrighty then. <laughs> Not too sure about this. Okay. Um, and then there is, oh man, it, sideways, <laughs> too much water. All right, I'm, I'm beginning to see a little bit of progress here. I am losing, it's 352 already, shoot, okay. Mom, I want one more snack. You want one more snack? Yes, but we bought some snack bars. We sure did. Mama sure did buy some snack bars. You want a strawberry snack bar? Yes. Okay, Papa. Uh, gosh, I hope I'm able to take this thumbnail. Okay, guys, hold on. <laughs> Real life strawberry snack bar time. Might just grab myself one too. One minute, please. Alrighty, so that was uh, snack time. I actually got a few bits of snacks myself there. I recently, um, well, I went to Walmart today. And they had everything Christmas on sale, on sale, excuse me, including those big old tubs of popcorn that has like the caramel corn and the cheddar and the regular kettle corn. And uh, yep, I sure did. I bought one for me and my son. And uh, he is happily snacking on that. And I grabbed a few pits of the caramel corn and that's good stuff. <laughs> All right, so I'm just basically bringing in some of the branches that I see. I don't want to make this video too, too long because, yeah, we're going right into 25 minutes already. And this was supposed to be a demo. <laughs> lies, all lies. But I'm looking right at this tree. It has all sorts of they actually had to cut it down quite a bit because it posed a risk because it's so old and so you know it's dead basically so I'm not even gonna bother okay I'm having a little trouble here I want to bring this out a bit more right here Follow that. Okay, that's looking pretty decent. And I'm thinking maybe we can add 
one more. Hands are a bit shaky. I can see why so many of you guys recommend actually taking from nature. Okay, that's looking pretty decent. There's a whole bunch of other branches that are wrapped around this tree, but I'm thinking, well, you know, let me darken this area right here and then, yeah, then I'll go ahead and call it, call it quits because I didn't want to, is this the right one? I didn't want to make this too long, but as you can see, I can stay here for forever, but I do want the thumbnail to represent what I'm doing now, so I'm not going to add anything that you're not going to see here. And I'm going to just gently add a bit more color to this area here. I don't want to disturb any of that right there because that's just looking so nice. That's actually looking pretty decent. You know, I'm thinking, yep, right here. It's like, it's just, yep, I'm going to do it. Out, down, out. And then use... secondary brush to just smooth it out. Doesn't need to be perfect. But it does need to look like it's coming from the tree. Okay. And maybe you 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 come in. straggler that got away. Okay, I need to I need to straighten that out. <laughs> ah, I didn't give myself a time. Well, I did a little bit, but obviously I'm I've been caught off guard by how much I I'm enjoying this. I didn't think I was going to be it was going to turn out this good. Just I'm trying to work on that whole self-doubt thing. And uh, oh, my hand is so shaky. Sorry, guys. Okay, so quick. Just a few, few things here. Okay, that's a, uh, you know, I love the color. Yeah, that's just good stuff right there. <laughs> All right, so there is a fence back there. There is, but it's a one of those uh, metal fences. That's because I live in a housing project that divides the project from the houses. So I'm just going to pretend that I have a fancy little wooden thingamajig right here. So one, one line. Some wonky upstrokes right there. Maybe there's another wonky post right there. Looks 
like my son loves the popcorn. You can hear him crunching from here. <laughs> okay, and maybe, oh, that just looks really neat. How about one right here? Just a small one. Little dabble do ya. Almost look like little mini uh mini trees, huh? They're about to come out. Okay, um Yeah, you know what? Three is fine. <laughs> three is fine. I'm losing light. It is four oh three, yep. Uh Okay, now I can actually say I love it. Oh my goodness, okay. Very, very happy with this. Uh, yeah, you know what, this is, this is good. This is really good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just squeeze out just a little bit of this, my True intentions were to actually put it all over the branches here, but I'm just gonna, for the sake of time, I'm gonna leave it as is. I'm gonna use a clean brush. Yep, this is clean. And this Chinese white is from that 12 piece Yasutomo set. Yep, Yasutomo 12 piece traditional Chinese watercolor set. It's number 50. So we're just going to get the beginning of some snow. Yes, 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 yes. All righty then. Maybe some snow began to build up there. And uh... oh, wow. I can't believe I did this. Ah so noise in the background, dishes running, my son eating poppy corn, and a few... few interruptions here and there. I'm going to go ahead and upload this video. And larger Too large. Jeez. One, two. There we go. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and heat set this super quickly. Time's against us, so I can do a quick peel reveal, and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm quickly taking this off. It won't be the most aesthetically pleasing peel reveal you've ever seen, but I am losing light and I really want you guys to see, excuse my hands, suelta ya. Look at that, you guys. Isn't that 
beautiful. Man, this paper is just amazing. The texture. Wow. Very cool. This part, not so cool. All right, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and take some uh, pictures outside in my front yard as I continue to struggle with this. Um, geez, I hope some of you enjoy this video. Um, with all the little interruptions aside, I think the work itself is absolutely wonderful. I'm very proud of myself. I really am. And the tree in my backyard is actually pretty proud too. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I know I need to take off a few more pieces of tape, but I gotta get that good twilight hour. Or what is it called? Golden hour? Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all soon. Bye.